Callie just straight up fed Gibson on the medical bed slash floor and then vomited all over her. It, it was kind of funny. Oh, now she's lying on the ground vomiting too. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to that one playthrough of RimWorld, a game that I am thoroughly obsessed with for some reason now. The last video had such a great response in my opinion that I decided, you know what, we better continue the story of the city of Bob. Because it is such a glorious little, uh, little RimWorld town that we've developed, we've got our lovely little houses for Gibson. And, uh, and Callie. Yes, if you've been paying attention on YouTube, I did a little community poll and I asked what I should be doing next or prioritizing. And clearly, clearly what I should be prioritizing is a grand monument for our city. So, so I figured the best thing to do would be to take this limestone large steel, stel, style, I don't know. We're going to claim that. And then uh, one, of our, one of our peeps at some point should decide to, uh, you know, go do things with that. Oh, I think, I think Gibson's doing it now, actually. Yes, Gibson is claiming this, repairing it for our, for our own glory. Callie is getting to work with some lovely, lovely cooking. But yeah, I probably, I probably should think about food issues for the future and create some type of, uh, refrigeration unit. Also, I should probably store this leather before it goes bad. Can somebody haul this? Gibson, come here. Cannot haul light leather. No empty accessible but What? Hold on. Hold on here. Oh, apparently I have not allowed any textiles to be stored in here, so maybe I should, you know, do that. All right, put all the textiles, all the textiles can go in here now. Somebody, somebody do this. There we go. Prioritize getting the leather indoors before it goes, but I wonder if that's why I didn't get all that leather that crash landed or Yep, all the leather that crash landed in the last episode is completely gone. Clearly, I'm an expert at this. I don't think I've ever made a crafting station too. We'll put it next to the large monument to the city of Bob. And par for the course, Gibson is in a daze. Don't know why, what caused that? Why, why are we Why are we dazing? What's happening? Yeah, okay, I know you're naked. Unsightly environment, minor pain, awful bedroom. Look, you have your own bedroom. You should at least be happy about this. What is the beauty in here? Why is there negative 15 on some of these beauties? Because there's dirt, really? That's it? Well, don't look at Callie's room. It's clearly really ugly. I'm a little upset that I can't move this thing. I kind of want to move it, but I can't build a copy. <gasps> Ooh. I will need more stone blocks for that to happen though. So I should probably make some more granite blocks. Also, there's all this components up here or compacted machinery to get components. I should probably make sure we mine this because if I'm going to do anything with electricity, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need those. I do have 30 components though. Oh, oh, we got a raid. We got a raid. What is this? A group of tribes people from the Blue Cat Lusa. All right, show me where they're at. Uh, let's see here. Is it just, is it just the one guy? Just one, huh? Are they attacking immediately? Oh, wait, there's a transport crap. When did this happen? Oh, they're dead. Okay, well, um, sorry, I didn't see the notification for that. That's a dead guy over there. You look like you're attacking immediately. I should probably do something about this. All right, Callie, it's time to go to war. Prepare the barriers. Oh man, the music is getting all like intense and like guitar-y. All right, there we go. Start, oh nice shot right off the bat. Look at that. Oh, they're trying to get, oh, they've got a gun too. Oh no, they've got a bow and arrow. Okay, hold on. Just Callie, we should, we should run because they clearly have the advantage getting cover and I can't clearly get a line of shot on them. There we go. Yeah, there we, yeah, I think, I think we'll be good here. We definitely have, oh, oh no, we've been shot. We've been shot. Okay, this is not good now. Cut, short bow, what, what is the damage? No immediate danger. Needs tending now, clearly, but she's, she's gonna be okay. Okay, let's, let's try and back it up a little bit. Let's see what their next move is. If we can get them to come closer, that would be the strategy. Oh, there they are, they're coming in. Okay, now move in closer. There we go, good shot, good shot. Oh, we've got them on the ropes now. Oh, you're missing like a like a moron. Oh, nice one right in the back. Good job, Callie. Oh, they're taking cover again. Quick, let's hide over here. Are you shooting my cat? You son of a biscuit. That is unacceptable. Go, get after her. She can't kill the cat. There we go. Nice shot in the back. Yep, yep. Now, now we got this. Now we got this. How's she doing? How's she doing? Dead in eight hours. Oh, she's gonna be dead in about ten seconds if I have my way. This, this is this is where I draw the line. Okay, she's trying to come. Oh, we got her. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and handle all this. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take her. Ooh, Jade. Okay, and she's got a bow. We'll take that. We might be able to trade it. We will need another grave. That was that was good shooting, Tex. That was good shooting. Now there's blood everywhere, naturally. Okay, good. She's self tending because you know she got a little scrapey scrape. All right, how's Callie's health? Okay, she was able to mend herself. We're gonna want to set up a new grave, so we'll build a copy of this and we'll just continue the chain of people who pissed us off. Yeah, you you go enjoy some 
Horseshoes, that seems like a good use of your time to relax after you were shot. Is the cat okay? Is the cat is the cat doing okay? Yeah, just a bite scar. Okay, they're they're fine. They're fine. People should learn never to try and attack my cat. Gibson, still being useless. Alright, well, we need them to continue doing the stone working whenever that can happen. I think I would like to use the granite to continue to build onto here. And I'm gonna try and make my freezer storage. So I think just making a little, like, room here. Yeah, this is, this is where we will put the freezer. Oh wait, hold on, I need to, I need to get rid of one of these because we're gonna have to have, like, the cooler system. Can I build a cooler? I can. Excellent. Yeah, build the cooler there. And then, and then we're gonna need to deconstruct one of these walls here at some point. It is good to see Gibson's back in the, in the game. All right, Gibson is on the way, constructing our freezer in the middle of the night because Callie's sleeping. I'm not gonna try and understand this logic. The slaver has arrived. What does that mean? They're gonna hang around for some time. I don't know if I want a slaver anywhere near me. Okay, hold on, hold on. I, I think there's a strategy I can do here. I'm gonna have Callie go get all the gold that was over here that we collected because I'm pretty sure I have to have the gold in my inventory, like in a stockpile in order to use it. So yeah, good. she's able to grab all that. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I can quote unquote buy a slave, but then I can potentially release them and make them part of my faction. Maybe I think that's a thing, but I might need a, ooh, I might need like a prisoner bed. I don't know how this works. Somebody help me. Quick, hold on. Quick, quick, quick. We need we need to just make like the most rudimentary prison cell that's ever been constructed. Yeah, here we go. This is the prison. It's made of wood. It will probably burn somebody to a crisp if we're not careful. And then we quickly need a a bed. Where's a bed? Bed? Boom. Boom. Good. Okay, um, Gibson. Get Gibson. I need you to prioritize the wooden walls. And then preferably Callie, what are you doing? Oh, you're doing stones. Let's um let's get more wood. We need more wood. Okay, uh chop down some of these trees ASAP. Okay, you prioritize that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Gibson, you do that. Doing good, doing good. We're just gonna build a building faster than these people can walk here, because that's a thing that can happen. We probably needed a prison anyways. Those words sound really strange out of context now that I think about it. No, no, Gibson, what are you doing? You were told to prioritize building. Come and do the building. Callie, you are being lazy again, aren't you? Meditating, huh? Okay, Gibson, what's your next task? No, your next task is to do the door. And then we're gonna take this bed and we're gonna set it... Oh, come on, build the door. There we go. Set, set this to prisoner. Come on, build the door faster. Come on, Gibson. Time is of the essence, Gibson. Come on. Blammo. Okay, we can make this a prisoner bed now. Just gonna put a roof on there. That's good. Who's the one that's supposed to do the communi- Oh, I think Gibson does the communicating, actually. Can you- Can you go trade? I'm gonna end up finding out that it's just way too expensive to actually, like, you know, buy a person. Well, that sounds really bad out of context, too. Okay, who do we got here? We got a 66-year-old female who's an actor. That sounds useless. And Luxembourg, who is an exile, female 35. Andy's an engineer, 62. He's an intellectual, mining, Ooh, he's actually passionate about construction, that's good. And shooting. Actually, I should check how much these are. 2,600, how much do I have? 2,000. Well, buckets. I do have gold. If I give them all my gold, what's that worth? Another 511. So if I were to buy, let's say, Luxembourg, how, what are your stats? Misandrous, really dislikes and distrusts men. Well, that's good. We're all women here on this colony anyway. They're kind and they're too smart. Okay, that's actually good. They just can't do dumb labor, which I'm not too worried about. They're good at melee, social, and intel. Ooh, this, I don't know. They're pretty bad at a lot of other things. They can do crafting and artistry, animals. I just feel like I really need another person. Oh, Landoa, the actor, is actually, can't do dumb labor or violence, but they're really good at crafting, social, Mining and cooking, which I don't think I necessarily need. And they have no health conditions. Actually, none of them seem to have any health conditions. I take that back. Luxembourg has an addiction. You're out. Not gonna happen. I, I think the cheaper one at 1300, this might be the way to go. Yeah, if I just give them all my gold and then I have enough silver otherwise, let's go ahead and just do that. Awesome. Okay, well, now I don't think they have a... I don't think they have a bed because they're not considered a prisoner. I think we just bought a person and they just live with us now. I'm not really sure what to do. Yep, they're definitely in the work priority list, so we'll just, you know, add them to the party, I suppose. 
Alright, and because they're really good at social, we'll make them the warden now. That seems like a good plan. Alright, there we go. I think I got their priorities set pretty well. They're good at crafting, tailoring, smithing, and mining, so I'm just going to let them take those as priorities. They have really good social, so I'm going to keep them on wardening. I don't have any prisoners, so I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. But yeah, we just bought another person, but it means I need another house. Oh, they're already, they've already started mining over here, too. That's good. Where should I put the next house? That is the question. Should I just go in a line? Should I continue this like a, some kind of, you know, suburb? I feel like I should keep them kind of close. Maybe I'll build it like right here. All right, I got to do this the same design. It's got to be perfectly lined up with the other house here. Let's put it like, uh, let's see. It's got traps, one, two, space, and then the building. So if I go traps, one, two, space, and then line it up here. Yeah, that's perfectly lined up. And then that, that's going to be the doorway. Cool. And then I go boom, 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 nine, and then across. Okay, so that's going to be the beginning of that house and we'll have to chisel out of the mountain here too bada bing bada boom it's gonna be beautiful wait does landoa does, do you have a weapon you should come get one of these weapons there's an awful quality knife or a poor quality knife um both pretty garbage but i don't even think you can do violence can you nope can't fight at all okay well guess you don't get a weapon what an interesting time in which we live all right gibson is working on the freezer mechanism that I'm now realizing has no power. Well, that was smart, Kyle. Good job. We're also gonna have to deconstruct uh, part of this wall. I'm just gonna get rid of these three segments, and then let's just keep the fact that this is stone going forward, and we'll put a, a granite door there, and that will be the freezer as soon as I get power, because I didn't think about that. All right, wood fire generator. How do I, how do I wood fire generator? I'm just gonna put it next to the cooling mechanism, that seems like the most logical course of action. Oh, look at this. Gibson is sleeping. Lando is over here just mining in the middle of the night. It's fantastic stuff. Oh, gosh, she's sleeping on the floor. What am I doing with my life? Quick, unprisonerize this and assign it to her. Yes, go, go, go get in that bed. Even though it's kind of crappy at the moment, I suppose. But it's better than sleeping outside. We're, we're gonna... Oh, look, your house is already, like, half-built. That's fantastic. Oh, geez, there's a thunderstorm. We have to remember to pay attention during thunderstorms, because it caused giant wildfire. Oh, my gosh, look, there they are. I told you. See, the wildfires, they're coming. As soon as the lightning strikes hit, it's just the end of the world as we know it. Luckily, it's raining, and that should put the fires out. Look at that. Oh, there's thrombos. I wasn't paying attention. Not that I can really do anything with them. Maybe somebody can explain to me in the comments what the point of a thrombo is. Like, do I kill it? Is it meat? Do I get hide from it? Should I, should I, you know, try to domesticate the thrombos? I'm so confused. Oh, look, Lendo, yeah, look, you're building your house. Con congratulations. Oh, we should, we gotta remember to put a door here. We need a steel door, boom. And then we need to do the floor, the floor of your lovely house. Flooring, like so. There we go. Everyone, look at everyone's working together. Teamwork is making the dream work. All right, we need to we need to move the bed now. Move, reinstall. I'm realizing these rooms are really big. They're almost like entire flats. Major break risk. Who? Callie, of course. What are you working on now, Callie? That's causing you such unneeded stress. Ravenously hungry. Well, then maybe we should be cooking more meals. I don't know why you are just not okay. Go ahead, eat eat raw rice. That's that's a thing now. Oh, the thrombo has decided to wander into my lovely town. Oh, Callie is in a daze. That's that's great stuff right here. Hi, Callie. How's it going? Why are you in a daze? I'm just re now realizing that by positioning the quote-unquote prison randomly here in a field, it kind of blocks access of my shooting bunker. Probably should reorganize this whole system. Okay, we're just going to deconstruct that. We're going to have to find a new place for a prison, I think. Apparently, I've had a bunch of quests I've been ignoring. What is this one? We have been informed that a collection of valuable items worth $750, not far from us. The collection consists of skill trainer mining. I don't know if that's worth it for me right now. I feel like I should probably prioritize the whole survival -y portions of this before I go on journey. Also, I don't really have a way to I don't really have a way to make long-term food stores like pemmican yet. I need to oh, research table. That's that's the thing I keep forgetting to do. Maybe I should have like a community room. We should do that up here. I should probably also just like let's get rid of the sarcophagus. That's probably not a thing. I'll deconstruct that portion of wall. We'll start to clear this out in here. Maybe a little bit. This can start to become the community room. Okay, we've officially begun deconstruction of the prison, and Gibson is very slowly taking each segment of it to build the floor 
of Landoa's room, which is kind of comical, as the prison that was originally supposed to house her is now being deconstructed to build her own house. Oh, we need to smoothen some walls. That's a thing I know I need to do. Smooth surface. Smoothen these. It will make it prettier and people will be happier. Wait, what is this? Compacted steel? Oh, wait, hold on. Don't, don't smooth that. We're going to get to that compacted steel, because clearly there's a pocket of steel in here somewhere. Well, I can see parts of it here, but I didn't know if it would go back that far. But apparently it does. We can move that knife. Oh gosh, what's happening now? Roof collapse? What? I don't understand. There's a way I can see roofs. Yeah, okay. Roof. Oh, oh, I get it. There was a roof here. Remove the roof area because, yeah, there was a roof there and you destroyed the walls and the roof fell on you. You'd think there would be a little bit more of a logical course of action there, Gibson? Like, you know, you would have been thinking like, oh, if I remove this wall, this thing might collapse on me and kill me. Now you're going to be dead in 20 hours. Callie, I need you to come prioritize making sure that Gibson doesn't die. Because clearly they're an utter moron. All right, there we go. They're back, back, back at it again. We should smooth this wall. Also, do you... Oh, you do mining. Construction... You're not passionate about it, but you'll do it. Wait, was Lando... Were you passionate about construction? No. In fact, you're terrible at it. Okay, well, never mind then. Well, I should, I should let Landoa cook because she is passionate about it. I don't know if Callie's passionate about it. Oh, she is. Okay, they can both cook. That's fine. It just means if Lando cooks anything, there's a chance it could be, I think, poisonous. Because she's not very good at it. Okay, can we get somebody to take all this rice indoors? Oh, there is more steel back here. It's a good thing we opened up this little pocket. Let's just go ahead and get all that. Also, it looks like we need to get the wood situation taken care of, Callie. As soon as you're done planting the rice, can we can we progress to chopping down all the trees that I have selected for massacre? Oh, and then I need to make like a floor. A floor inside the freezer is probably going to help. Concrete is, uh, is cheap, quick to build, also quite ugly. Paved tile. Slow to build. Neutral in terms of looks. Cleanliness on steel. This is a uh, quick to clean bonus cleanliness for use in medical settings. Well, this isn't a medical setting, but I feel like I want to have a nice, clean, crisp floor for the freezer just because it's going to be housing raw food and whatnot. Callie is finally getting on with chopping of the wood. Oh, it's, har it's corn harvesting time. We've got corn. Now we've got tons of food. Now the food problem is we've got too much of it and not enough places to store. Oh my gosh, there's more lightning. Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Oh, we found the fire, but it's okay. It's raining. Oh, there's that dead guy that I totally forgot was there. Oh, well. Oh, also this guy was dead. Um, Can somebody prioritize putting them in the ground? Callie? No, don't strip. Oh, do I need to allow? I need to allow. I'm, I'm remembering how to play the game. Okay. Prioritize burying orange, please. This is becoming like a psychopath's garden over here. Oh, look at how pretty that looks. Good job, Gibson. It's looking fantastic. Also, there's a lot of lightning strikes going on. Little, it's a little unnerving. Okay, we're going to make lots of food. And then we need to put a zone that is a stockpile zone. But it's only going to be food. Clear all. It's just going to be all forms of food. No no hay. Don't put kibble in there either. But just, yeah, all all forms of food go into the new food storage center. Can you, can you move this knife? We'll never do hauling. Okay, sorry that I asked. Ooh, we have cotton too. We'll be able to make clothes. Gibson, we're going to have clothes soon. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, now please prioritize hauling the steel knife. There we go. Just literally, you got to move it like six feet. That's all, that's all Landoa had to do, but she was like, nah, brah, I don't pick things up. This is kind of funny. Landoa is on her way to go back to bed and Gibson is just creepily standing in this dark room. Slowly but surely carving the walls to make them nice and smooth. Oh, and now Gibson's in a daze because, you know, why not? You were out doing work in the middle of the night. Now you're creepily wandering around your friend's room, just staring at them while they sleep. This is a totally normal thing that happens in everyday life. All right, I'm realizing the fact that Lindoa can't do dumb labor is problematic because she will not haul any of this food to storage. She won't clean. Like literally everything about the situation is just terrible. Oh, I almost forgot I should be prioritizing important things. I need to have granite flagstone that goes and connects this house because, uh, yeah, Landoa needs to have a nice pretty walkway that connects to the rest of town. Listen, people, these are my priorities. You can't tell me I'm wrong. Also, I should be paying attention. I know this is a thing. It's it's my wealth distribution within the world of the Rim World. Um, buildings, what is this? Items has gone down. That's 
that's a good thing i think people creatures that must be people as well i could be totally wrong though but yeah every time this goes up too high i am potentially get rated again i believe is the uh, is the thing so yeah, the more wealthy I get, the more people want to murder me, I suppose. I'm also starting to realize the wood issue is becoming a little more severe, as now all of the coolers are out. I need to put wood in my wood generator so the freezer can work. Also, we should make it so food just no longer gets stored here. Oh, there's a fire. Where's the fire? It says there's a fire. Oh, that's clearly inside my territory. There you go. Good, good, good job, Landoa. You've, you've earned your keep for the day. That was very anticlimactic but I freaked out for a second. Ah, oh, look at this. She's now putting the, the meals into the freezer that doesn't work because because there is no active freezering. Let's bring this down to, I don't know, 28 degrees Fahrenheit. That'll bring it below freezing. Now I just need somebody to prioritize actually putting wood in the furnace. Okay, Callie, I'm, I'm come to the conclusion that we're probably pretty good on food. I don't, I don't think we need to worry about this too much because i think that's gonna end up is that gonna end up creating like wealth in to some extent i don't know all right this map is terrifying now that i realize just random fires can start literally everywhere and the rain has stopped which means we're gonna have like a recap of last episode essentially now okay callie your new g objective is just refuel the fu the stove like just i need you to do that thank you now this will get cold, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, the temperature is dropping significantly. It is working. Okay, this is good, because now I should also be able to have an electric stove. And I'm going to position it here so it's closer to where all the food storage is, because I feel like that's an efficient thing to do. I'm getting it figured out, people. I'm getting it figured out. Okay, I should also get a tailoring bench. Yes, let's do a tailoring bench. And that can go in kind of this, uh, I don't know, community room as I'm calling it now. Which also happens to be the hospital, I guess. We should probably look into that a little bit. Because Gibson is still butt naked and I would like to get Gibson some clothing. Oh, I need to make wires. How do I do the wires? Is it is it the conduit? Waterproof conduit? Power conduit. I think I just need this, right? Do I just conduize? Is that the proper terminology? To, to conduize? I'll take that over to there. I think that should be enough. Because I think it sort of connects magically, yeah. Like, there's a little purple magic electric-y connection cord on that one. And all this food should be like, yeah, won't spoil, frozen. Perfect. That's that's what I was hoping for. Oh, I think she's building the electrical cords. It's happening, people. It's happening. Is this powered now? I think it's powered. Okay. I think we can do things now. All right, let's make some t-shirts. Let's just... Everybody gets a new t-shirt. And then and then we'll make some pants. Wear pants. Make pants. Everyone gets a new pair of pants. Everyone gets new pants and a new shirt. It'll be a glorious time. And uh, I think I think it would be very cool also if we all had uh, cowboy hats. Let's just make cowboy hats for everybody. Hooray! I think that also adds to wealth too, doesn't it? Pretty sure it does. Probably just asking for more chaos. Bring it on, Randy. Bring it on. Okay, who is still unhappy about nudity? You, you literally made clothing. Okay, you have you have a shirt on, but no pants. You need to go make the pants, and then you can stop complaining, okay? Oh, well, apparently the cat is just eating random... Oh my gosh, there's a bear! What is happening? That was really quick. I am terrified. What do I do? Oh god, somebody save me. Uh, Landoa, you, you have no weapons. Just run and hide. Uh, Gibson? Jeez, I don't know. Just, uh, come over to the bunker of the protectiveness. Where is Callie? Oh, you're up here just grabbing random stuff. That's fine. You're drafted now, too. It's time for war. Okay, okay, the bear... The, oh, the bear killed my... Oh, my God. You son of a biscuit. He killed my cat. This is unacceptable. You must murder this bear immediately. There we go. The bear has been shot. Here we go. We've got... He's an aggressor now. Hit the trap. Come on. Yes. Oh, oh, he's down. He's down. Kill him. Everybody kill him. Kill the bear. No. Why are you not killing the bear? You're supposed to continue killing the bear. Why are you... Melee attack grizzly bear to death. Yes. Just walk up to it and beat the living bejesus out of that bear. Yes. We shall... We shall get vengeance for Nudge. 
Just kick it in the face while it's down. I'm sorry guys, this is a really dark side of me, but it's just that the bear killed my cat and I'm very upset about it. All right, well, it looks like we're having grizzly bear for dinner, everybody. I'm gonna go over here. Oh, I need to make a new butchering station because uh, I got rid of the old one because it was in the freezer. So let's um let's make a butchering station here and uh, we're gonna pour one out for Nudge, everyone. Everyone just pour one out for Nudge. I wonder, since Nudge is dead now, is, uh, is Nudge gonna be butchered as well? because I've put in a bill to butcher more animals. How much grizzly bear meat did we get? That is a lot of meat. That's like a hundred meat. I should probably also claim all these walls. I think that's a thing I should do because I think it'll repair them. Which is just random thoughts I'm having as I go through this. Yeah, we're just gonna claim. What is this short key? Was it N? Okay, we're just gonna N everything. N, 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 N. Actually, don't, don't end that one. Um, deconstruct parts of these because uh, I have a plan. I want I want to actually just expand this I think like that. Can I unclaim? I guess I can't unclaim at this point. I have officially claimed it. It's a thing now. Okay, we've claimed all the walls. Let's let's just add to that corner up there, make it more symmetrical. And then and then I think I actually want to uh, I want to actually add a I'm gonna add a door there because I'm gonna create like a double entrance to this. I think. Oh my gosh, is that more bear meat? What do you what do you have right now? What is this? Guinea pig meat. Oh, gotta say I did not see that one coming. Oh, Lindoa, you can undraft now. The the bear is gone. Everything's okay now. What are you doing? Making cowboy hat. You are gonna make a cowboy hat out of bear skin. That is badass. We killed the bear that killed Nutch and now we're gonna wear it like a hat. Oh, our electric stove is completed. That's good. Does it have power? Oh, it does. It's got the magical connecty line. Okay, we can get rid of the wood fire stove then, I think, and we'll just uh, make all of our food via the magic of electricity. All right, good. Callie is laying out the construction. Looking good, looking good. Landoa is doing some cooking. She's already made one cowboy hat. This is fantastic. Probably need to increase storage. Also, I need more wood again. This is just a constant problem. Okay, just cut down this forest here, please. And this one down here. Oh, we have visitors again. They seem friendly. I'm not really sure what the point of visitors is. Do they just stand around and look menacing with all their guns out? I mean, the last time this happened, two of them just decided to start killing each other. So I'm not, I'm not sure I agree with the whole process here. All right, the visitors are leaving. I don't, I don't really know what was accomplished there, but I, I hope something was accomplished. Oh, a combat supplier. <gasps> Ooh. What type of combat will you supply me with? Oh, I should probably make Nudge acceptable. You guys can kill Nudge. I'm I'm over his death. I get that it was a tragic experience, but we can butcher Nudge if we need the food, okay? Okay, now Landoa is good at social, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, she's really good, which means prices should be better if she's the one talking to everyone. Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of crazy things in here. What the heck is a triple rocket launcher? It's a single-use large-bore explosive rocket. Because of its unwieldiness, single-use limitations, and the massive destruction it causes, it's said that one must be slightly crazy to use this weapon. Well, you've never met me. I can't really afford it, though. However, there are flak vests, flak pants. These are good defensive stuff. Ooh, EMP grenades. I think these are all things I've read on the interwebs at some point I should probably be looking into buying. A fire foam shell? That's Isn't that for putting out fires? Explosive shell? Man, these guys have all the cool things. I can't really trade them any of the stuff I have of value. Like, they, I would love to sell them my clothing I'm not using. But like a helmet? I feel like a helmet would be a good idea. Maybe the flak vest and pants. Oh, not the wooden war mask. I don't need that. I can make those. EMP grenades. How much would all this cost me? Too much. What can I... Oh, I can sell those. Okay, this is this is too much. Maybe, maybe we'll forget the EMP grenades and we'll get like a full suit of like flak stuff so that we have some defenses on one of our colonists. Let's go ahead and buy that. Oh, there we go. We're butchering Nudge. Nudge is now being a provider of food. Okay, we should probably also make like a table to eat at. I feel like that's productive. Make a little table for consuming the food. We'll just, we'll just kind of put it in the middle here, maybe, so that we can put some chairs around it. Like there. I should probably also move the quote-unquote hospital bed. I'm just going to make a copy of it there. That's medical, and then I'm just going to 
deconstruct that one. We'll have to move that at some place. I should probably build, like, you know, a legitimate hospital. Also, I still have not uh, reconstructed the prison. I'm really just all over the place, aren't I? Okay, okay, let's do floors again. I want my steel tiles so we can make this all pretty in here again for, for more food storage, I think. Do I have enough steel? Oh, I got plenty of steel. Lando has gotten food poisoning from simple meal caused dirty cooking area. Well, yeah, I suppose that's, uh, Fairly accurate statement. Trade caravan is leaving. Goodbye, trade caravan. Have a have a good day. All right, I'm realizing now it probably should be pretty solid on food. So if anyone was stressing about that, I think I'm okay. I'm a little upset. We've built two cowboy hats and nobody wants to wear them. Wait a second, I'm just realizing I can make a machining table. I can make guns, ammunition, or break down mechanoids. Two questions. One, I, well, not a question, but one, I did not know I could make guns. And two, what the heck is a mechanoid? And should I be terrified? Also, I'm realizing now, too, I could have been making a wind turbine. If I had made a wind turbine, I wouldn't have to worry about wood fuel. So maybe I should do this. Should I just make a wind turbine? Maybe I should make it over by the fields. Out here in the fields, I fight for my meals. If it's too far away though, I think people, won't people destroy it? I wanna keep it close by. Let's do it out here by this field. We'll kind of direct it that way. Okay, there we go. We're gonna build a wind turbine, everybody. Corpse obsession, What? what is this? Gibson has broken inside and become obsessed with corpses. She is going to dig up a corpse and present it to all to see. This happens because of poor mood. I'm, I'm really sorry. But in what world would you getting depressed make you go dig up a dead body? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. She's just going to lay it out there. Okay. Um, let's, let's, can, can somebody, can somebody do this? Yeah. Go prioritize burying that again, please. That's disgusting, Gibson. You should be ashamed of yourself. Did she get, uh, did she get clothes yet? Are you wearing clothes? No, you, you're not wearing pants. Did you just not get to the pants? Yeah. You just haven't made pants yet. Just walking around pantsless for some reason. Not, not really sure what to think. All right, what can we do to make Gibson happier? Because clearly it's becoming an ongoing problem. Ate without table, sweaty, it's too hot in here, okay. I mean, you're naked and you're complaining that it's too, I mean, really the best course of action would be to just remove more clothes. Unsightly environment, minor pain, hungry, hungry. There's literally an ample supply of food. Like, it's, it, it's not even an issue anymore. I don't even know what to think. I have no, I have no words. All right, we'll build you a stupid table. Now, De Callie's in a daze now, too. Is everyone just going mad? All right, we have a table. We have a table. I just, let's make some dining t dining chairs. Okay, everyone can sit around and have a lovely time. I need, I need somebody to do the power because the freezer is now 66 degrees and that just doesn't constitute a freezer anymore. Can you, can you do this? No, you cannot do hauling, so you can't do that. Um, Gibson, I really need you to just refuel the generator. I know you're trying to sleep, but just do that, and then you can go to bed. Okay, we'll call it a night. Nope, you're gonna go back to work. Fantastic, even better. I was not paying attention, and there's clearly a raid going on. I should really be better at this, but Lando is now running for her life, I believe. No immediate danger, but this person is chasing them with what appears to be a gun. Callie is uh, currently recovering from food poisoning. She is wandering. She's in a daze. Uh, Gibson, it is time to be the hero we have all been waiting for. Does this guy have an automatic weapon? Oh, dear lord. This might be where the playthrough ends, everybody. All right, Gibson, it's time to be... Go full on Rambo here. Got one. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Where... Where is... Oh, no, she's being kidnapped. Quick, Gibson, go. Run. Oh, no. Ledoa. This is, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is really not good. Two reasons. One, Gibson has been shot. Will die in 16 hours. She's also trying to chase down Landoa, who's going to approach the edge of the map. I've had this happen before in like the one tutorial playthrough I did. And then I thought I was an expert at this game. And here we are. Come on, Gibson. Run faster. Kill him. Well, this is a problem. Um, yes. Landoa has been kidnapped. However, she's not lost forever. An opportunity to rescue her may present itself in the coming days or or years. Jeez, Rimworld. Goodness. All right. Well, um, all this just kind of happened while Callie's just laying here asleep. She's just like, uh, whatever. Literally, one of your friends just got kidnapped. Your other friend is dying. Well, the good news is we have an automatic pistol now. That's kind of neat. All right. Time to bake another grave. Let's just line them on up. Gibson... You are going to die in 15 hours. Let's hope Callie snaps out of this ridiculousness. Otherwise, uh, going to be back at square one. Well, this is really fun. 
I love this game. Gibson is now going to die in 13 hours. Oh, and Callie just got food poisoning. Fantastic. She's in a wandering daze. She has food poisoning. Her friend is going to die in 11 hours. It's, it's a grand old time. Yes, game. I know there's a medical emergency. Callie's no longer wandering about. What is she going to do? What's your first priority? What's your first course of action? It's go help your friend. Fantastic. You had six hours to spare. I was going to lose my mind and throw my computer out the window if that didn't occur. All right. Well, now that that's taken care of, let's hope that Gibson has a speedy recovery. Callie just straight up fed Gibson on the medical bed slash floor and then vomited all over her. It, it was kind of funny. Oh, now she's lying on the ground vomiting too. <laughs> that was worth a laugh. That was worth a laugh. All right, this has opened my eyes up to the fact that we need to probably improve security. Now, because Gibson is still around, we have the ability to make turrets because his construction or her construction is high enough. Oh, Gibson's in days now. This is great. Yes, because their friend Landoa was lost. Well, you you should have ran faster and you could have saved her. I don't I don't know what to tell you. Now these require power. Yeah, they require power, which means we're gonna have to keep it in line with wherever our power grid is. But I'm kind of thinking we expand our bunker situation a little bit. Like if we go and expand the barricades out and then and then kind of delete parts of them. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do that. We'll expand the bunker. We still haven't finished uh, the freezer section two or our chairs. We've got a lot of things to do here, people. Obviously, it's not very useful when somebody gets kidnapped. Gibson is very pleased. She just built a chair and she's now sitting. Hopefully that makes... Uh, Makes her a little happier. Nope, there's still tons of things that are pissing her off. Okay, let's let's think about the disaster that is this room for just like a, a moment in time here. Oh my gosh, Callie's actually cleaning. I don't think I've ever seen this happen yet. Get rid of all that blood, fantastic. And the vomit, yes, the vomit that you put all over your friend. <gasps> she's wearing a cowboy hat, hooray! Mission accomplished. <laughs> she's cleaning and then she vomits. How heartwarming. Okay, I do want to improve the floors in here too, just to keep some consistency. So limestone is what's in here. So if I think if I just do this, we should upgrade all that flooring. I'm going to deconstruct the monument, but I am going to build a copy outside in memoriam of oh my gosh you're building the windmill i didn't even realize look at that awesome fantastic stuff we're gonna build a monument out here i think for the city of bob it's gonna be in memoriam of of nudge as well we need to remember nudge the cat and then we'll deconstruct the one that's indoors here because it's it's kind of just in the way at this point Oh, well, Gibson is laying tiles. That's good. Fantastic stuff. All right. Well, now that this is an unowned room, I think I think we might just need to convert this into the prison. This is now the prison. Can I reinstall this at an angle? A couple of beds. This will just be a giant prison. It's now a prison. Welcome to the prison, everyone. Need batteries. Oh, that makes sense for the whole electrical thing. How do I build batteries? Is that in power or production? I don't know how to build batteries. Need warm clothes. Is it is it getting cold? Oh my gosh, it is getting cold. It's 38 degrees. Luckily, it's okay inside their houses. Corpse obsession. No, 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 not again. Oh God, no. Gosh, dang it. You put it on the table? Why the table? This poor dead body, Orange, I swear. Like you, I don't even know what to say anymore. Can you, can you prioritize burning that, please? You're both psychopaths. You belong together. And more food poisoning. Fantastic stuff. Maybe I should convert the floors to something else in here to make it cleaner? Should I do steel tile in here? Like, just make this steel tile? Let's just do that. I'm probably just giving them extra crap to do that's, you know, not necessary. The good news is they're both wearing cowboy hats. You can tell where my priorities are at. Oh, there's a dead body out here that's just rotting away because no one decided to go and create a grave okay gibson please please go please go work on the grave you should probably deconstruct nudge's bed too r.i.p nudge okay and then and then you can go ahead and just bury kiko oh gibson's vomiting now too everyone's just getting food poisoning oh gibson has decided to wear all the cool clothes uh which is probably good because you know she was naked so now she's got flak pants he's all ready for battle how does that make you feel happiness wise minor pain she feels insulted i don't know why that is. Slept in the cold. Colonist, colonist died. A colonist didn't die, did they? They got kidnapped. Landoa died. You can't assume she's dead. She was kidnapped. I don't think we have enough information to jump to those conclusions. Oh, we ran out of power. Can you, can you go fix the refueling situation, por favor? Thank you. Why is my windmill not doing anything? Is there just 
Is there just no wind here? Is that a thing? I feel like I've just wasted like a ton of money on a big investment that hasn't uh, come to fruition. Ooh, Gibson is working on the monument to nudge. Nope, now she's working on the floor. She just can't really figure out what she wants to prioritize, I guess. And now she's gone to hide in room. All right, it's late at night, and I think I've got a moment to think here. I'm going to have to deal with the temperature issue, because outside at night is getting to be very cold. Inside, it's staying okay, but not comfortable. What is the best course of action? Keep temperatures stable in bedrooms. All right, I'm going to make everyone clean at a high priority for a short period. I just feel like that might be beneficial. I mean, she's cleaning like random dirty areas that are literally just dirt, but... I feel like it'll help the moods of everyone involved. Let's just let's just look at the excess home areas we don't yet. Don't don't worry about cleaning all the grave sites. That's that's not relevant. Let's get rid of that zone. Apparently we need to fix some wall issues here, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We don't need to clean like any of this, I feel like. Okay, let's start with that. So we just get all the houses nice and tidy. I've decided that I want to prioritize some heaters inside these houses. So I'm gonna kind of center them maybe like uh, well let's let's turn these into cute little homey areas so i'm gonna put it kind of in the middle here and we'll do the same thing over here i need to put some power cables in conduits and i'll just kind of go across like that maybe be enough i hope gibson is is clearly busy trying to construct the monument to nudge and that's that's a clear priority when they're done oh and of course naturally naturally there would be a raid right right as i'm you know Starting to feel like things are coming together again. Now, what do you people want? What are they What are they doing? Okay, I think they're chilling for a while. We have some time to think. We have some time to think. The mega fortress is not is not built yet. All right, Gibson. I I think I think I want you to prioritize maybe the uh, the bunker. We need to prioritize the bunker. Do the bunkering. There you go. No, 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 no. The bunkering. Not not the not the monument right now. Nope, nope. The bunkering. Back to the bunkering. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, come on, go get the wood. Oh, they're beginning their assault, everyone. They're beginning their assault. Okay, everybody, everybody get drafted. Come to the bunker. Oh my gosh, they're already shooting at us. Gibson has already been shot. This is not good. Okay, okay, quick. Everyone in the bunker. Everyone in the bunker. Yep, there we go. Okay, we got one trapped. Okay, you guys, prioritize this guy. Prioritize this guy. He's running away. He's running away, I think. He's, he's, I don't know what he's doing. Fleeing in panic. Okay, good. Good. His friend is actually going to be dead in four hours. I wonder, can can we... Yes, capture Vivian, the pirate. Perfect. We have no prisoner marked beds. Okay, well then remark this bed for prisoners. It's that simple. You just flip-flop it whenever you need it. There you go. You prioritize that. Let's go ahead and pick up and allow... No, don't allow the drugs. Don't allow the drugs. Don't, don't do the drugs. Drugs are bad, kids. Remember that. This guy is going to die in three hours. I would like you to prioritize tending to them. Can I make it so that yeah, don't don't use any medicine. Can you just can you just do it without the medicine? Nope, you're not allowed to do anything now. Okay, that's not how that works. Just use use basic medicine. Okay. Go go prioritize that. Hopefully they won't die in that time span. Also, okay, Gibson's fine. Don't prioritize Gibson. They'll be okay. All right, we have uh prolonged their death. That's good. They will stay in the prison. Now tend to everyone else. Excellent stuff. Feed Gibson. Looking good. Okay. Gibson, you're going to be okay. I believe I believe in you. Well, that wasn't so bad. I think we're going to be okay after that. Disease. Infection. Oh, gosh. What's happening now? Infection. Minor. Okay. Well, I mean, they are a prisoner. I don't, I don't feel too obligated to help, per se. But if we must, I suppose. They die, they die. Oh, well. Okay, we'll clean up the smoke leaf. Go ahead and store it. But I've set everyone to not being allowed to have drugs, so nobody should be consuming that, I think. Gibson is finishing the monument now, finally. Okay, the heaters are now working after a bit of time constructing and whatnot. The heaters are gonna take things up to a comfortable 70 degrees. I'm okay with that. We should get some lights, too. Lights would be good. Standing lamps. That's what we need. Some beautiful little standing lamps in these rooms. That way we don't have to use torchlight anymore. And then as far as Vivian, our prisoner, goes, I think I want to try and recruit them. So they will progressively work to uh, work against their resistance, which she currently says uh, 19 resistance. Hopefully they become a little grateful after we save their lives. Ah, we got some lamps being built. Perfect. Look at this. It's starting to come together now. Somewhat impressive dining room. We're getting somewhere. Spacious interior. 
Recreation satisfied, comfortable. They're just bitter about their friends dying, that's all. All right, this room is is cold too, so we should actually uh, put a heater in here. A little heater, like... Yeah, right in, the, right in the middle, maybe by the dining room table. And then we can deconstruct this uh, torch. Oh, we need a light. Let's do a light in here as well. Get rid of this torch. Get rid of this torch. It's all coming together. Production, I know I need a research bench. It has been on the list of things that I have ignored. So we'll just kind of awkwardly put that in the side of the room there. Wanderer joins. Wait a second. What does this mean? An archer named Lara May has arrived and wants to join the colony. He is willing to contribute but will not leave voluntarily, claiming to have somewhere else to go. You can choose to turn him down and send him away. However, your colonists will be disturbed by sending someone away in need. Okay. Um, I guess we're going to accept this person. All right. What are your stats? What do you got for us? Ooh, construction and mining. That's, that's actually very reassuring to have. Okay, Laramie, welcome to the team. All right, Gibson is finally getting to claiming all these walls. Things are coming together and looking up. Um, I'm realizing now Laramie is not going to have a house, so we need to build another house. All right, there's Laramie's uh, house under construction. Whoa, hey, hey, what is this? You can't just be smoking stuff in the middle of the house here. This is unacceptable. I didn't realize that was a thing. No drugs, no drugs, hello, hello, please, please cease your action there, sir, none of that, jeez, ya hooligan, this is a family-friendly channel, oh my gosh, Laramie is a construction maniac, look at this, he's building floors faster than you can blink, alright, I'm gonna get rid of the windmill too, because it's literally not spinning and doing things, oh, and my, my barricades have been demolished, there were excess, so to upgrade security further, we're gonna put steel turrets inside of these bad boys. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the murdering now. Okay, and then I can expand the zone of our freezer space. So now this is all freezer space. And Callie got food poisoning again. Fantastic! It seems like no matter what I do, everyone's just dying slowly from eating. Oh, he's gonna need a heater in his house too. Um, heater. We need a light end table and a dresser. And then we need a uh, little pots. Just liven up the place. We got another storm. Oh, and a fire's just broken out right behind a bill. Oh, never mind. Okay, fire's gone. Everyone's on top of it, Kyle. Just relax. Hey, actually, Laramie. Okay, okay, never mind. Somebody else is building the roof on your house for you. You just continue doing things. All right, and then we need power to get there. All right, it's all coming along very nicely now. Berserk. Vivian has gone berserk. Does that mean they're going to break out? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Gibson, can you, like, do something about this? No. How about... How about you just stand here in preparation? So if they break out, you can just shoot them in the face. There they are. Okay, now shoot them in the face. Do the shooting in the face. Do as much shooting in the face as is necessary. Can you arrest them? Is that a thing that we can do? We cannot arrest them. That's an odd, odd thing to not be able to do. Vivian's gonna learn the hard way that when you escape from prison, you take bullets to the face. This is the worst form of berserk I've ever seen. Death in five hours. Basically, yeah, we're gonna end up murdering them. How about we just melee attack? Nope, never mind, they're down. Okay, um, now, now can we... Now I can try to arrest him. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, just just recapture them. Can't recapture them because they broke the door and now there's nothing to hold them in place. This is just fantastic. Okay, just rebuild the door and like do it quickly. You come over here. Just yeah, get get over here close to them so you can be ready to arrest them. And we'll just hope they don't die. You know, they're out here just bleeding to death. That's and that's okay. Great. Now we have a door. Let's capture them. Food binge. Gibson has decided to go on a food binge. I told him to capture somebody and they're like, okay, no, I'm gonna go. I cannot, I cannot deal with the uncooperation here, people. Vivian has died from blood loss. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and just bury this dead pirate. Oh, oh, there seems to be a giant fire right outside um, everything that I own. Home zone. Let's, let's just, let's just do this. So everyone starts to prioritize. Okay, everybody draft and just every was run to the fire please run to the fire do the putting out of the fire please we could use some oh now the plants are on fire now the plants are on fire okay yes keep it away from the house please thank you thank you please and thank you no it's still it's still guys guys it's still there just get 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 all the fire now they're just chasing it slowly and it keeps entering down here so they run back yep there goes all the corn Oh, Gibson has decided to join now. Thank you, Gibson, you hooligan. Come on, you got it, guys. I believe in you. 
I believe in you. Okay, they got it. Okay, it's it's still it's still down here, guys. It's still within close proximity. Let's go put out a fire. Let's go put out a fire. Let's go put out a fire, but not do the entire thing so it keeps coming back. There you go. Okay. I think we saved most of the crops. We'll just ignore- <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my gosh, it's just like the last vi Oh, never mind, it started raining. Okay, everyone calm down. That was pretty horrifying at first glance. Oh my gosh. I thought it was all over. Do we just not have enough power for all of this? Maybe I need- maybe I need another one of these. Should I just build a second one? Yeah, because this heater and this isn't working, and I'm assuming it's because I just don't have enough power in the grid. All right, we've got an exotic goods trader. This should be intriguing. All right, Gibson, I think, is the best to go and talk, because, you know, the last talky person we had got kidnapped. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. I have no idea what it is. Arcotech Eye? The heck is this? Market value 2800 What does it do? Artificial Eye. Increases body part efficiency by 150%. So it's just like a bionic eye? That is pretty intense. I can't afford it for 4,351. I mean, there's a lot of interesting things here that would be neat to have. Hmm, okay, well, not much I can do. I should probably prioritize research. Pretty sure I can also make, can I make a chair next to the research? Is that a thing? I think I can make chairs just about anywhere, but if I do like an armchair, not enough materials. Well, maybe somebody should go collect all the cotton that's just sitting out here going bad. Oh, I probably need more storage. That's, that's probably the issue. It's all my fault. Okay, wait, I can solve this. I have the technology. We're gonna go shelves and I seem to have lots of granite. So I'm just gonna make, wait, why is everyone just coming into my house? You can't just let your muffalo in my house. Just, yeah, sure. Okay, use the table, make your at home what do i know all right I, I just want shelving units please can i make some shelving units why is the muffalo in the freezer what is it doing every time i try to understand this game okay i need the power conduits to go out to here maybe ish to get the power to the turrets hey look guys there's another raid what do you know they will prepare for a while then attack prepare defense or attack them preemptively um okay close and pause they are i should have i should have done the jump to location okay here they are okay there are three of them this guy has whatever an equa is he's got an equa too and he's they've all got equas i think they're like spears i don't know i'm sound like uneducated swine now top priority for everybody everybody is going to work on this conduit maybe i don't i don't know how do i can i get you guys to prioritize okay prioritize 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 everybody do the conduits because if we can get the turrets active as quick as possible this should be a really easy fight no 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 don't go to bed this is no time for bed this is not the time for sleep prioritize refueling that because we need the power laramie what are you doing you are going to build the rest of this if it's the last thing I demand. Okay, one one square at a time. I'm literally getting them all to do this. We've got power. 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 Okay, the turrets are all powered. We're going to keep an eye on these guys now. We should be able to strategically put everyone in the security bunker. And very safely just sit tight while the turrets massacre the enemy. Because they only have melee weapons. Okay, the tribes people are assaulting. Get everyone into the bunker. I don't think Laramie has a weapon. You... No, no, no. Everyone get in there. Sorry. Laramie, you equipped the machine pistol. Oh, oh yeah. This is gonna end really badly for them. Oh yeah, look at all that. Oh, perfect. One down, one down. Here comes the next one. Here comes the next one. Oh, we're firing on this guy over here. I love this. This is fantastic. Two down. Here's the third one. Oh, he's definitely running. He's definitely running. Okay, Callie, let's go get him. Let's go get him. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to go capture this guy. Okay, let's see. This guy, you're dead. You are... You're dead in four hours. Okay, actually, let's do this. Callie, you are going to capture that guy. Laramie... No, I don't want to get everybody. I just want Laramie. Laramie, you're going to go chase after that guy. Gibson, you can undraft and get back to work. Laramie's going to go chase down this guy. That was a fantastic battle. That worked out perfectly. Yeah, you just you just chase after him with the bullets. Okay, he's dead. Good. You were all laughing in the last episode, but it is coming together. It is coming together. And I would say, as long as we can uh, successfully heal this guy... Yeah, it's looking like we're going to heal him. Death in six hours. Death in nine. We're building a bunch of storage units over here. Yes. 
Yes, it is going well. So I would say, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and call it here for this episode. But we we have reached a, a level of quite uh, successful sustainability. We've got great defenses lined up. We have the grand monument to nudge, God rest his soul. We've got a freezer section. The food is, is looking quite nicely. We got a research bench, which means I'm going to go ahead and brag about it. Everything I put on the poll on the YouTube community post that we voted on, I have successfully done all four. So you can suck it. I am the best at this game there ever was. I'm going to continue this playthrough because we, we are going to get this colony off the ground we are going to get them into space we're going to take them home and leave the rim world that is the priority but until next time i'm kyle this has been that one playthrough of rim world and i hope to see you in the next episode have a wonderful day and if you enjoyed this video we'd love it if you leave a like it really supports the channel if you'd like to see more from us here at that one playthrough go ahead and subscribe we'd love to have you along for the journey and if you didn't know we do have a little patreon if you'd like to join the patreon and be like one of these many supporters you see on screen here today there's a link in the description down below until next time have a wonderful day